It all a mad dream. Marine Sherwood P. Moran. I've been interested in asking some of the Marines why they joined, rather than the Army. When I asked a nice, peppy young fella, only 17 years old, he replied, You see, it's this way. When it comes to war, the Marines go in first. With the 20,000 Marines as they stormed the island, were combat cameramen and radio reporters. No guy likes to go into action, but uh, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, that's all. Now, why do we have to do it? Well, uh, they asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Morris B. Kranzberg, 4th Marine Division, wrote home. 4th of July, 1944. Dear Jack and Mickey, it is an unforgettable experience. You shake and sweat and worry. I was praying to God to take care of me. And I was also thinking what a hell of a way and a hell of a place to die. Here I was about 7,000 miles from home and I come all this way out to this godforsaken island of Saipan just to die. I didn't know what war was really like until I come on this operation. Believe me, it's an ugly, rotten, dirty business. You really believe in utter destruction. I guess I won't even remember this in a few years from now. But nothing else is new. Regards to all, love Maury. American propaganda portrayed the Japanese as monkeys and savages, certainly not human. Marine Chuck Abels. Hi, Johnny. The Nips never could get going against us with any big-scale stuff. The barrages kept them plenty scattered, so all they could do would be to tank up on their sake till they were croaked to the gills. Then out they'd come, screaming and shouting their fanatical Banzai war hoops. Nuts, Johnny. Just plain nuts. That describes him in full. They don't give a damn whether they get killed or not. And that can't be human. It is becoming an obsession with every officer and man in this division to kill Japanese. In the Pacific War, it was kill or be killed. Platoon Sergeant Thomas O'Neill. We had just made the turn in the road when we spotted two Japs. We got one, but the other managed to duck into the jungle. We continued on and made contact with a patrol from the 4th Marines. The hunting in their sector was pretty good. They were piling up quite a score. On our return march, we spotted a Jap, probably the one that got away that morning, sitting beside his fallen comrade singing some sort of chant. We made it possible for him to join his buddy. The night remained quiet. Rain again. The Japanese called the Americans barbarians, devils, monsters, wild beasts. Japanese soldiers fought under a military code in which death was welcomed in the service of the emperor. Suicide attacks were part of this tradition. Corporal Kikuo Noguchi, 2nd Battalion, 135th Division of the Imperial Army. 23rd June. Close range attack led by Sergeant Okagaki of the 5th Company with four squads. Corporal Mizuguchi, four private first class Suzuki, Chikuyama, Ogasawara, and Otsuka, and five privates Ono, Ito, Yamada, Maeda, Fujita were killed in action. The Japanese Code of Honor made it confusing for Marines like Bill Russell Lloyd of the 2nd Marine Division. 
All morning we have been trying to take them off. They will not give up. They refuse to be taken aboard the boats. So after they repeat their refusals a couple of times, there's only one thing left to do. However, some have seen the light and give themselves up. One wounded officer that was taken was very well educated and spoke English very well. He wanted to know if there was to be a fourth term for the president and several other questions of domestic interest back home. Certainly is a strange war. All my love, Bill. A lull in the fighting gave a chance to receive mail and send a few messages back home. If you had a chance to say something to the folks at home right now, what did you say? Well, I'm telling you, just was lucky enough to have a mail call just now. I got three letters from them, and I was mighty thankful for that. So they're bringing the mail right out here to the front lines, That's too? That's the first time we had it, yes. Did you get a letter from the girlfriend? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. You didn't? No. Well, what's the matter with her? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> well, I want to say hello to uh, all my family, my mother and father, and my sisters who are married, and uh, I hope that... Uh, you get to hear this broadcast and hope that you are all well and getting along fine. You got any friends back there still in school? Yes, sir. It's Bibby Gay. I hope he's listening to this record, and I hope you make captain on that football team, Bib. And I heard about the good job you guys did this year. Now, keep it up. And I hope you're all healthy and well and stay that way. And I'll be seeing you in a little time as soon as we get this thing over with. Thank you very much. It is, uh... Difficult, mountainous terrain. Lots of ravines, lots of ridges. And, uh, it's extremely difficult, but we're going to overcome it. Well, what are the Japs meeting you with up there, sir? They're meeting us with everything from uh, rifle fire on up. The final assault took place as thousands of troops and civilians took refuge in caves at the tip of the island. General Clifton Cates, Commander, 4th Marine Division. I saw a most beautiful sight this afternoon. The first assault and capture of the last Jap-held ground on Saipan. I observed it right in the front line and no pen of mine could describe it like it should be. With artillery, planes and mortars pounding the airfield, the infantry advanced steadily across the rocky ground no movie could make a better looking picture. There was very light resistance until the beach was reached. The Nips had dug large caves in the side of the cliffs and it has been a hard job getting them out. but they are gradually being annihilated with explosives and flamethrowers. Practically none surrender. Lieutenant General Saigo, the Japanese commander, committed ritual suicide. Others, fearing rape and slaughter, blew themselves up with hand grenades. To the victors, the spoils of war. Navy Reserve Lieutenant Paul Bonnet. I've seen a lot of souvenirs recently, but I haven't bought any so far. Prices are terrific. $500 to $2,000 for swords, $100 for flags, 
Jap T sell for a dollar apiece. They knock them out with rifle butts. One of our nice American Marines dug up a bunch of Japs after they were buried and stripped them of belts, buttons, etc. Nice going. I lost my appetite for souvenirs after hearing that. Kind of you to keep the stories quiet. Yeah? All my love, Paul. The last entry in the diary of Lieutenant Kawaguchi, one of 30,000 Japanese dead. To have fought against the enemy, carrying out my duty, and thus becoming a war god, I'm very happy. My only regret is that we have not fought enough. I, with my sacrificed body, will become a white shroud on the Pacific. 3,500 Americans lost their lives during the assault on Saipan. By the time all the dead were buried, there was fighting on the beaches of France. D-Day. In the Pacific, the killing continued. <laughs> 